Hello everyone, Tim Brown. Welcome back to my Apple Podcast. This episode, I'm going to focus on adding text to photos using your iPhone and iPad. I have five apps that I want to feature. The first one, Photo Lettering by House Industries. So let me go ahead and open this up. It automatically by default accesses your camera, but I'm going to go ahead and just type a word in or a name rather. I'm going to call it Suzette. And then I'm going to go ahead and import my photo into my project. I'm going to access my camera roll. There we go. It's going to crop it a little bit. And then you have several options to edit. I'm going to first go in and select the first icon where you can add up to four filters to change the look of your photo or background image. And then you have the option to go in and change the color of your text. You do that by tapping on the palette icon. And you can just scroll through with your finger to choose the available options. I'm going to try and find a color that I think works best here for now. And you also have some fonts to choose from. Not many. There are some too that are in-app purchases, which is why this app is free. Each font is 99 cents. So you have to keep that in mind with this application. You click the check sign when you're done. Again, you can pinch and zoom with your finger to enlarge it or decrease the size. And green's not showing up here, so I may have to go back into this and change it. Possibly, I'm going to go with white. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And I'm ready and set to go. Click the check symbol. You can share to your favorite social networking sites, similar to the iPhone default settings, or you can save to your camera roll. It's really that simple. Photo lettering by House Industries. The second app that I want to feature is Typic Pro by Hi Mom SAS. This is an application that enables you to add text and design elements to your photos. And it's made specifically for the iPhone. So I'm going to go ahead and add a photo from my camera library. And you can see it's a square format. You then swipe with your finger to the left to explore all the menu options. Your first options are to add filters to your photos. And you do that by just clicking on the number until you find the right filter that you want to use. And then you swipe to the left. And then from there, you can begin adding captions. So I'm going to type in Butterfield, the name of the artist who created this sculpture. I don't like the font though, so I'm going to go in and change that in a moment. And you do that by just tapping on the font options along the bottom. There's also a button in the top right called More Fonts. It enables you to choose more fonts that are available. Then click on the arrow button again to go back to the main menu. You can choose the minus or plus sign to enlarge or reduce the size of your fonts. Swipe to the left again. And now you have an option to add frames to your photos and or change the color of your text. As you can see, there are about seven options here. You just tap on the option that you want. You can also choose to blur your photo if you like by hitting the plus or minus sign or you can decide to make the text transparent or opaque, which is a nice option to have as well. And when you finish there, you just swipe to the left and explore your other options. And here's where you find the design elements. And here you can add all kinds of patterns and textures and shapes. I'm just gonna go through some of the options that are available here. And once you add them to your photo, you can pinch and zoom to resize them but you can also do that with the edit elements to the right. So I think I'm gonna go back and choose that circle design. I thought that looked really good with the name. You use the edit elements on the right to control the size, as well as use the arrows to position it where you want it to go. But first I'm gonna go ahead and choose a, another color option. Again, you have the same seven colors to choose from. Then I'm going to use the arrows and just going to bounce it around here until I can find the right placement for my design element. I like that position. Then you swipe left again and you're ready to save to your favorite social networking site, so to your camera roll. And there's one more option too. You can actually add another caption to your photos, but you can only add two. So I'm going to go ahead and just add the first name of the sculptor. You can position it with your finger, and there you go. So that's Type Big Pro by High Mime SAS, and it's $1.99 in the App Store. And it gets better. The next app is Title FX for the iPhone and iPad. 
by East Coast Pixels Incorporated. Let's begin by importing a photo from the camera roll. What you're gonna like most is the easy user interface of this application. I'm gonna go ahead and type in Pantheon and click done. And all of your options are along the bottom. I'm gonna first choose my font options. And here you can see the different fonts are represented by the first letter of the word. And you just scroll through with your finger until you identify the one that you want to use. It's really that simple. And you choose them by just simply tapping on them. And once you've found the font that you like, you then can go to your next option, which will enable you to control the size and angle of your font. And I love this option. Again, it's very easy. You just slide the sliders back and forth with your finger. Likewise with the angles, I really like having these options. And again, they make it so easy to do. And once you've settled on the angle, you can go to the next option, which is then adding color to your fonts. And again, it's the same thing. The colors are represented by the first letter of the word, just different colors. And you just scroll through with your finger until you find the one that you like. Again, it's really that simple. And once you're done, you then go to FX, which is effects, enables you to add an effect to your type. And this is nice too, because everyone wants to add a border every now and then, or you can add a glow, all different kinds of effects. You can even have a dual tone to your photos. Just a lot of nice options to have, and it's just as simple as tapping on your options. And then you can actually add backgrounds as well. You can add a, add a light black background or a light white background. You can even add some nice fades to the back of your letter forms. I mean, it's really that easy. And that's pretty much it. And when you're done, you just click on the return key in the top right corner and you can save to your photo library, your, your favorite social networking sites. You can copy to a clipboard or send to another app. That's Title FX by East Coast Pixels Incorporated and it's $1.99. And I'm going to say what I like most about iOS apps is that they combine functionality with just plain fun. And that's what the apps were like that I'm featuring for this episode, especially this next one. It's called Swipe by Dana Shakiba. And again, it's a very simple user interface. I'm going to start by clicking on the plus symbol at the top left. And I'm going to import a photo from my camera roll. And you just swipe along the photo to add text. It's that simple. So I'm going to go ahead here and type in Capitoline. That's the museum I visited in Rome. And when I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and click on the brush icon. And that brings up all of these menu options. I'm going to first select the font option. And you can just scroll through and select the font that you want. And then you just tap on the font of your choice. Then go back to the menu options and you have the color bar where you just take your finger and you just scroll back and forth until you find the color and shade that you want. You then use the next slider underneath it to control the size of your font. And also the slider underneath en enables you to control the opacity. Likewise, you can rotate your text back and forth as well as add shadow effects to your text to add clarity to your photo. Click the check symbol when you're done. It's really that simple. I just went through all of those features in a few seconds. That swipe by Dana Shakiba, and it's $1.99 in the App Store. And likewise, you can save to your camera roll and or to your favorite social networking sites like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Flickr. Oh, and also Tumblr. And you can also save a copy to your clipboard. Pretty nice. And finally, to close out the episode, a very exciting application called Path On by PayDivision. It's $1.99 in the App Store. Here's the interface when you first open. You just tap to access your camera library. You have five different paths to choose from. A free path, square, circular, paragraph, or spiral. Let's go with spiral. I'm going to go in and pinch with my fingers to make some adjustments here in the size. And then when you're done, you just click Done. And when you enter the next interface, you now go in and just simply type in your text and you'll notice that the type will conform to the shape that you have set up. So I'm gonna go in and type Deborah Butterfield, who's the name of the artist who created this sculpture here. 
And as you can see, the font is following the contours of the spiral shape. You then can use the plus and minus signs to control the size of the font. So it increases the size of the spiral that way and click done. Then you have all these menu options along the bottom. If you click edit, it opens up even more options and you can play around with these options where you can control the positioning, the size and spacing of your letters. I'm probably going to go back to the original here and then you can choose different color fonts by scrolling through the different color swatches that are available. And when you found a color you like, you just tap on it. And again, you can continue playing around with the plus and minus symbol to control the size of your font. You can also control the spacing and so forth. Here you can add some shadows. And you have a ton of font options to choose from. Probably more than all the other apps featured so far. A nice range of options, which is why they give you another option called font mix. Here you can actually go through and select several different fonts, maybe more if you're interested. And it combines all those font types together. Hence the term font mix. I like this option actually. I think it's a lot of fun. And again, you can continue playing around with the size of the font until you're satisfied with your overall design. Pretty clever and well-designed application. And you have a lot more options. You can also go in and crop your picture or you can add effects. And this application actually offers a lot more effects than the other ones. So it's pretty cool. And I like every last one of them. I think all of the options that you have really help to enhance or complement your, your type selections. So I'm just going to go through and just show you some of the options. As you can see, you have quite a few to choose from. And you can also change the background. That is, you can change the transparency. You can make it darker or lighter. And you also have the option, too, to blur the photo. And these are both options that help you to give or add more clarity to your font, which is really nice. And then you can save to your library, your favorite social networking sites. And there's one feature, too, that I forgot to show you. In the top right-hand corner is a rotation tool. And you continue to rotate your text until you're satisfied with the position. Awesome. And that's it for this episode of My Apple Podcast. Don't forget to check me out at myapplepodcast.com. See you next time.